Announcement. Announcement. The officers and candidates of the Republican Party are inviting everyone to join us for a Republican <laughs> gathering party at Tachonga Beach. Viva Republican Party! Tombstone during the period of the Arizona Territory, what would you say about the democracy of the election for sheriff? <laughs> well, that's kind of like what it is here. I mean, we don't have guns, people don't shoot each other, but the outcome of an election here determines your life for at least four years. Henry San Nicholas is the son of Mayor Joseph P. San Nicholas, and he is one of the five in the SN5 Corporation that was founded by his father that runs the shipping business between Tinian and Saipan, which is a, a monopoly and has earned a considerable amount of money for the family. He's branched off into a variety of other businesses. Tomorrow, <laughs> he can tell us what to do. Oh, it's getting close. They said, Who am I to stand up and challenge the mayor's son? Well, let me ask this question. What did the mayor's son do that I should not challenge him? Who is he? What has he done? Trenton Connor is um, the son of Don Connor, who is a very, very good friend of mine and founded Tinian and Steve Adore. We have to show these people that we are not going to be dealing with crooks anymore. Crooks! So the boy grew up in the business and uh, got himself educated. He's a very bright young man. He's now running the family company and doing quite well at it. He's a, a very fine young man. They like to talk the talk, but have they shown the walk the walk? Look and see what they're doing, people of Tinian. They haven't done much. They're the Republican Party. Ready? I am not after glory. I am after helping those people on this island that have been denied of their opportunities, of their rights, have been criticized, have been alienated, and been denied of employment. Uh, all these trials that I've gone through have prepared me to lead because now I am fully equipped and with that understanding to sense how it feels to be poor, uh, how it feels to have a marriage problem, uh, how it feels to fail. Some may consider it courage because, you know, after, have, after evaluating not having all these things, you're still up there trying to make a difference. Maybe that's courage. I don't know. But, you know, this community and a small community like that, to this community, that's a joke. <laughs> This is America's newest colonial experiment. Viva! 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 Viva!
It's your clan, it's your family. You gotta support it. Younger politicians who read and write, who think they they know a lot and, and they're energetic and they say, you know, I am here to change the world. You know? Well, maybe the world doesn't need changing. Have you ever considered that?